charged. Well, this next story is something only the cat could drag in. It seems a feline felon is stalking a quiet residential neighborhood in Alameda. New Center Force Tom DeVries reports on Rusty, the cat burglar. Rusty could by now be considered a career criminal. Barely seven years old, she began stealing small items of clothing six years ago, burglarizing neighbors and bringing the stuff home. And then the towels started, and we actually saw her. She used to go down the street, a couple doors, and steal the towels from this guy and drag them home, and she'd be howling the whole time. Half a block in either direction in a generally nice part of town, nothing small enough for a determined cat to carry or drag is safe. Notice the child's sock in these pictures, and Rusty didn't stop with single socks. She brought a Barbie doll once. She's brought us some stuffed animals. Um, I've gotten a few unmatching pair of socks. She stole 42 knee-high socks from our neighbor overnight. With a wave like that, the neighbors have noticed their losses. Anything from a rag when I'm washing my car to a sock will suddenly be missing. You know? But victim Rob McCarthy is taking it philosophically. Rusty's such a good character about the whole thing that... that, that just doesn't mean it half the time, you know, it's just a habit. Kind of a klepto cat, I guess you could call her. Rusty's owners have their theories about what turned the cat to crime. Daily, every morning, usually when she's hungry, if There's she doesn't like the menu, she'll bring back something that will, you know, appease us to bring feed her something that's better, something that she likes, you know, a lot more. One more thing, Rusty resembles a cat breed called Japanese bobtail. It's known for short tails, curiosity, and an inclination to steal things, even small tools. In Alameda, Tom DeVries, New Center 4. Maybe it's because she has a bob tail and she thinks she could put it on the... Maybe yeah. that's it, the substitute tail theory. Yes. Yes. Well, at least you know, when something's be... missing, you know where to go, right? In that neighborhood. Yeah, it used to be just the silverware. Now the... Yeah. Huh? Finally tonight, there's a couple over in Alameda that'll go to sleep tonight, wondering what the heck they're going to wake up to. See, they have a cat and they never know what their cat will drag in. This is the face of a burglar. Her name is Rusty. Her crime spree spanning six years now. Her owner says it's her fault, it's in her blood. She's a Japanese bobtail. They're noted for um, being extremely outgoing and friendly, is number one. And the little uh, the little pom-pom um, tail, sort of like a little rabbit tail. Um, and also for the fact that they're curious and they will, they will steal from people. <laughs> she has a whole array of things she's got to hear. Oh, the Cub Scout, Cub Scout uh, uh, scarf. The she she loves cute. socks. She loves knee highs. She's big on knee highs. We have lots of knee highs. Neighbors keep a mental list of the things Rusty has stolen. T-shirts, slippers, socks. You name it, she's taking it. <laughs> we have a pile that's at least a foot high of, of things that she, she's brought home. And uh, we invite our neighbors to come by and look through it and see if there's anything they want to retrieve because she's, uh, she's no one's safe in our neighborhood. A true found. cat burglar. I guess when she starts bringing home diamond bracelets and things, they'll get they'll, they'll really end, worried about they'll that. End, they'll end that big pile. <laughs> Biggest night she brought home 42 socks. In one day? In one day. Yeah. 42 of, socks. A lot of barefoot people in She must in have gone through the whole neighborhood. <laughs> That's where all those... Final decision in a week. We know felines have a particular fancy for fillets and fine feathered friends, but Rusty the criminal cat helps himself to the unusual, as Tom DeVries found out. Rusty could by now be considered a career criminal. Barely seven years old, she began stealing small items of clothing six years ago, burglarizing neighbors and bringing the stuff home. And then the towels started, and we actually saw her. She used to go down the street, a couple doors, and steal the towels from this guy and drag them home and she'd be howling the whole time. Half a block in either direction in a generally nice part of town, nothing small enough for a determined cat to carry or drag is safe. Notice the child's sock in these pictures and Rusty didn't stop with single socks. She brought a Barbie doll once. She's brought us some stuffed animals. Um, I've gotten a few unmatching pair of socks. She stole 42 knee-high socks from our neighbor overnight. With a wave like that, the neighbors have noticed their losses. Anything from a rag when I'm washing my car to a sock will suddenly be missing. You know? But victim Rob McCarthy is taking it philosophically. Rusty's such a good character about the whole thing that, that, that 
it just doesn't mean it half the time, you know, it's just a habit. Kind of a klepto cat, I guess you could call her. Rusty's owners have their theories about what turned the cat to crime. Daily, every morning, usually when she's hungry, if she doesn't like the menu, she'll bring back something that will, you know, appease us to bring and feed her something that's better. Something that she likes, you know, a lot more. One more thing. Rusty resembles a cat breed called Japanese bobtail. It's known for short tails, curiosity, and an inclination to steal things, even small tools. In Alameda, Tom DeVries. And finally, Larry.